Hello and welcome to week 10. This is Ludmilla Adams from Fashion Chalkboard and you're watching one tip of the series 52 weeks of fashion sketching in Adobe Illustrator. This week we are going to learn how to take one pan, such as this long one here, and we are going to take this long pan and chop it up into shorter pans and then chop it up even further into these. Remember that you can download the flat sketch in the free member area on fashionchalkboard.com and the link is below in the description. One little hint for those of you who think, well, that's similar to what we did last week. We are going to use a different method. So last week we used the Pathfinder and I will put a link up here in this video so you can click and check that out. Um, each of these videos has been recorded to be one complete video in itself. So you don't have to start in the beginning. You can jump in at any time and just go with the video that piques your interest. All right, so let's begin right there. Make sure everything is unlocked. And then on the, my document here, I already drew a couple of lines. Um, so for the medium size and for the short size, so you guys can decide where you want to draw those lines. Make sure you are on the actual layer where you're going to draw the line and you can just use your pen tool, click, hold down shift, click again. So you should see it nicely on top of that. And let's do that again. So once again, so you just click with the pen tool, hold down shift and then click again. And that will ensure that the line goes on the horizontal nicely. And then um, instead of what we did last time, we are going to use our shape builder tool. So get familiar with where that location is. So first we take our select tool, we select everything that kind of falls underneath here. And then we're going to go to the shape builder tool. And by default, it should show you a plus because it's trying to combine things. But we are going to make the plus sign turn into a minus by pressing Alt or Option on the keyboard. And then when you click and click on the pieces that you're not fond of anymore, they'll just disappear. So it's kind of like eraser. So we're just going to we're just going to erase, erase, click and drag, click and drag until it's the length that we want. A couple of things that we might want to notice is that the line that we drew on top of this is actually still laying on top. So I just moved the pants out of the way so we can click and drag over these leftover pieces and delete them. And then let's do this one more time. It's so quick and easy, right? So here is another line that I drew and um, there is actually a little bit of a line here. Let me just move these. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. I'll just have a tiny little slit looking thing or something. So we're just going to click and drag with our selection tool over all the components, switch to our shape builder tool. Don't forget the option or alt button on your keyboard. Press it down while you click and rub, click and drag. Don't forget the in between pieces. And then you're done. Yep. And there's some dots here from the lines that I can just select and delete. And I can click and drag over these top parts here. And remember, there's some pieces here. Now, maybe I wanted that tiny little slit there. Maybe I didn't. Um, it's up to you. So just select it, delete it. Thank you so much for watching. This was a quick one. Remember, there's a hundred different ways of doing this. If you have any questions, leave them below. Flat sketch 52 on Instagram. I'd love to see some of you guys' designs. Um, have fun. Even if you just use the print and something, because you know the free download comes with the print, then just go ahead and show me what you're using it for. I'd love to see it. Um, connect with me, Ludmilla Adams, here as a subscriber in the comment section. Like the video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.